what happens within your physical body when people begin talking about things that you don't understand or don't know much about. How about what happens when people start talking about things you don't agree with? We have a physical reaction from something minute that we barely recognize to a very obvious change in our breathing pattern. I am Tavish Cardiff. It is Ignorance Week at Our Raw Material, and this is the first week we start talking about what happens in our physical bodies. The ignorance pillar reflects back to us our own dislike or discontentment with things that we are unfamiliar with. The reality is we have access to a lot more information than we allow for ourselves, but we expect that we should be able to know everything, do everything on our own. And when we really focus on this pillar, we can see how impossible that ideal really is. We know what we know based on what happens in our own personal lives, just like every other person. So when we come from that perspective, it makes a lot, it a lot easier to clear these energies that get so stuck when we can't understand the way another person acts, reacts, behaves, whatever it is that they're doing. Our brains are conditioned naturally towards snap judgment, and we rarely question the way that they fill in the blanks for us about what we think. We see a situation, we decide a lot of things about it, not consciously, our subconscious makes informed guesses, hypotheses, based on what we see, so that we establish a story around the things that we look at. When we can't make sense of what we're looking at, we start to get triggered, and and again, that that physical uh, reaction takes place, so we start to lose the ability to inhale all the way. We start to limit our exhale, our breathing becomes small. We start to operate just from up here rather than using the entire body. There are so many different methods out there to get you breathing in different ways or breathing into different parts of your body, but any practice that changes your breathing pattern regularly or shifts it from what naturally occurs puts you in a position to just wake things up and teach them something different. Ignorance is just where we get stagnant. It is not knowing, an opportunity to learn. And if we look at it as that, it becomes a teachable moment. When we look at it as something to judge or especially when we create expectations for other people that they should know something or should do something, we set ourselves up for disappointment. We look at the ignorance of another person as a problem rather than recognizing that's just where they are. And when we see problems everywhere that we could find acceptance, we store energetic yuckiness in our own bodies. And until we tap into something that clears all that, we're really walking around carrying it, creating disease, discomfort, all of the things that keep us from feeling as open and uh, prolific as we can because really if we are aware of our connection, if we stay open to what is around us, direct knowing will take care of our ignorance. We will become curious learners and observers of the situation rather than judging ourselves or anyone else for what we don't know. What that does is allow our body to continue to clear itself naturally. Our breathing patterns don't change. We stay in a space that that is an inhale to gather everything that's bothering us and an exhale to let it go. Yes, this sustains our life, but it's also the tool that the universe gave us to clear out the things that bother us. And when we don't use it because we don't remember how to, we create illness within our body. We create these issues that become body specific issues. Our aches and pains, our overuse, our tired muscles are all born from the inability to clear our body of the things that trigger and bother us. The ignorance pillar gives us the opportunity to look at all of this on a grand scale and let it reflect itself back to us. Let us see our own ignorance in the face of our judgment. Let us see all of the places that we hold beliefs 
that may not be accurate. They're just based on what we personally know. And when we look around the world, we can see there are so many other people that believe things differently than we do, just as solidly as we believe what we believe. So yes, each one of us walks around feeling like we know the truth. And as far as our lives are concerned, as far as our own raw material is concerned, we do for our life. But we do not know the truth for someone else's life. We do not know the behind the scenes things that go on that we don't see. And there's so much that we miss because our eyes are always looking forward. When we attune with our heart, with our entire chakra system, with the openness of just all of the cells in the body and our breath, we then start to take in information that is less apt to judge and more apt to learn and become interested and involved in how something got the way it did rather than be appalled at how it got the way it did. There is a story behind every behavior that we don't understand. And if we take the time to learn the story, it makes sense. In most cases, we don't have the opportunity to do that, nor do we have the inclination in a lot of cases. What this does for us is allow us to pause, take that breath, let the ignorance wash through as a cleansing cycle, as a, as a real letting go of the things that bother us about other people's thoughts and behaviors and beliefs. When we get to where we accept this, we can move on from the triggers away from judgment and possibly on to actual understanding, which would ideally be the goal for each of us to take the time to understand why another person does exactly what they do. Allowing ignorance takes practice. We are designed to anticipate and expect a standard because we have been held to certain standards our whole lives. And when we watch other people not meeting them, it can be jarring, disappointing. We can get irritated. We can get angry. Any number of ways that we can be triggered when someone is doing something that maybe we would have been punished for doing or would be punished for doing. When we watch people get away with the things that are harmful to other people, it's upsetting at the core because we want things to be fair and just. And somewhere in the world, they, that measure is working. That metric is working. But the scale that we are looking from is, is from ignorance. And we can only see what we can see. So the scale is actually much smaller that we are looking at than the grand scale or the grand scheme of what's really going on seeing a little more detail, a little more root system, and giving just a slight bit of grace to the things that bother us. Breathing, releasing, and keeping our own body clear and healthy. We take the time to remember that we don't get to decide what other people know, think, and believe. We barely have enough bandwidth to do that for ourselves. But once we can start taking that space to breathe rather than be bothered, we allow a whole lot of the triggers in the world to calm down, to settle down, and to find common ground. Ignorance is my favorite pillar because it is constantly teaching me that I don't know as much as I think I know. And as a human person who considers myself, you know, of, of, at least average or above average intelligence, I need to be reminded of that regularly. Otherwise, I will get stuck in my own patterns of judgment, believing that the only way that's real is what I know. And as I watch and observe and, and deal with so many clients with different issues and different circumstances, I see how my own judgment is changed and altered by the things that I learn. I ask each of us to adopt a softer heart towards ignorance and take time to listen when you don't understand things. Take time to recognize when your body gets tense and let it breathe. Because when we get triggered, it's nearly impossible to pull ourselves back to a sp space that feels calm and inviting. 
Thank you for being here to discuss the pillar of ignorance. I'll be back next week to talk emotion and accepting the conditions that we came in with, our own raw material.